And we were so busy in 2013, by the time the year came around, we said it's time to stop and woodshed and start working on an album. We've done what we've done in the past, and who are we now based on where we've arrived as human beings and as songwriters. So there's depth and emotions and vibes that we're tapping into that we really never tapped into before. We've all had a lot of trials and tribulations, losses, uh, friends passing away. It's been rough. We held it together, and sometimes just by a thread and a prayer, maybe you'll hear all that in this. She might leave, she might leave before it's done. Who could blame her anyway? It's always so much fun to work with them. We managed to, in a very short period of time, get those songs very studio ready. So we get into the studio, and the very first day we knew everything was going to come together. I mean, it was just exciting. Goosebumps. The writing process was very grueling. We worked very, very, very hard to uh, get everything where it needed to be by the time we went in. So by the time we went in, got it. We were all just like a pallet of bricks on our chest. So he played that shit out of this record. And everybody was at that level. Everybody performed at that level. Mark, he's a super smart guy, a monster player. Got a great groove, great bounce, fun energy. the guy who tends to try to ground everybody and is really good at that and you know with all of us in the studio is really important and a very cool thing. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on to pull a project like this together and, and Tony really was I think the stronger spearhead this time around and kind of keeping everybody on track and really pulling the train down the track to get to where we are now. In the studio working played hard, just a smile on his face, and just so focused, and had such a vision of what he was after. Yeah. We got Glenn starting to sing in there, and you know, when he started to hear that come together, it was like, oh my God, we've got a freight train going here. Fly on, free fly. He has a beautiful, strong voice, really reaching this time. He wrote melodies, wrote rhythms and structures that were very challenging for him, which was awesome. I think everybody was trying to reach that next level uh, of their own abilities as well as the band. Yeah! Rhythmically, things come very easy to him in the guitar world. Certainly a very positive guy, very supportive of all the other people, as each guy is. It wasn't easy to do what we did, but it was smooth. And working with Brett, it made it even smoother. He's really able to see us and what's going on with us and he's able to work us past all the ways that we block ourselves. He really knows how to draw the best that we're capable out of us so having him there is a godsend. The goal all along was to have a great representation of what these guys are in a live environment because they're a great live band. All the guys have been working together for so long now that they really are learning each other. There's nothing that can replace that level of maturity. Best, absolute best recording experience I've ever had. There was fun, fun was had. There's a lot of professionalism that was in there too because we just pounded it out and just boom, boom, boom. We managed to make the songs just come together and grow into its own just powerful melodic beast. It's a culmination of 
everything that any of us has ever done. It all just came together in a really magical way, and this is definitely one of the best things I've ever been a part of. I can't wait to get this album out there. I think we've got something very, very special here. It's been a long time in the making, but I think a lot of that time shows and shines.